how do I do these intros? I don't remember. I don't remember how to do this. <laughs> back to my channel if you're new here welcome welcome my name is Lizelle and today's video is going to be a tutorial on this look right here it has been so long since I filmed a makeup tutorial like you guys I don't even remember how to do this anymore to be honest with you guys I was actually kind of nervous to film this tutorial because I was like do I even know how to do makeup anymore am I gonna remember how to do this but yeah this is the look that I'm doing today I did in fact use the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette which you guys have definitely seen me use before but I wanted to do just a really intense glam semi-cut crease kind of look and this is what we came up with today so yeah if you guys want to see how I did this keep on watching but before all of that if you enjoy this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any more videos that I post and you might also want to hit the little notification bell because apparently YouTube is being a little weird lately so you gotta make sure that you're subscribed make sure you click the bell and maybe even make sure that you check my channel once in a while so you don't miss any more videos that I post. Anyways, with all that being said, let's get into it. All right guys, as you can see, I've already filled in my brows to save some time and I've already prepped and primed my skin. I just used the Face of Australia Face Base Primer and also the Inoxa Pure Silk Primer to kind of help minimize the look of my pores. But next up, I'm gonna be going in with foundation. Today I'll be using the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I feel like this is my favorite liquid foundation at the moment that I have in my collection. Just the coverage that it provides and the finish that it gives me without being too heavy and cakey on the skin. I'm in love with it and I love the color match. I feel like the color just matches me perfectly, which you know I'm all about. I mean, obviously, we all want our foundation to match our skin. So as you guys can see, I'm just applying that to my face with the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. I'm just applying it with that brush using kind of like a buffing and stippling motions just to really get it nicely blended onto the skin. Because I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but I do have a little bit of redness and pigmentation going on. I have kind of broken out lately. So with this look that I'm doing today, I really want to give myself a flawless base. Next up, I'm gonna go ahead and color correct because you know, I didn't get enough sleep. So I need to counteract this darkness that's going on underneath my eyes. I feel like it looks a lot worse on camera than it does in person, but it is what it is. So I'm going in with the LA Girl Pro Conceal HD Concealer. This is their Peach Corrector. You guys have heard me talk about this in pretty much all of my tutorials because I always color correct. But I'm just gonna go ahead and do the usual thing, take a swipe to each eye and then blend that in with the Models Prefer Airbrush Concealer Brush. Okay, so that looks very crazy, but I'm gonna go in with concealer. I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer today. This one is in the shade Light Medium Honey. I'm just gonna go ahead and lightly apply a few dots of that underneath my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, above my brows, and on my chin. And then I'm gonna go ahead and blend it in with the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. With this concealer, a little definitely goes a long way. So you don't wanna pack it on too much like you may do with any other concealers, cause this stuff is heavy duty. It packs a punch, it gives you amazing coverage and you don't even have to use much product. Alrighty, so that concealer is on and before it even has a chance to think about settling into any of my fine lines, I'm going in with some setting powder. This is the Astralis Ready, Set, Go Finishing Powder. And I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that to all the areas that I applied the concealer to with a Sigma highlighter brush. As for the rest of my face, all those other areas that I have not yet set, I am going in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Pressed Powder. This one is in the shade Warm Beige. And I'm just using the Sigma F30 Large Powder Brush and I'm lightly dusting that over all those other areas that I've not yet set. As you can see, you guys are now up close and personal because I am going to be starting on the eyes. We'll finish off the face a little later, but first of all, I'm going in with some base for the lids. So I'm using the NYX eyeshadow base in skin tone. And as you can see, this is just evening everything out, making sure that we have a really nice canvas to work with. And once that's all blended in nicely, I'm going to go ahead and apply some setting powder over top just to set it all in place. So for today's look, I am going to be pulling out the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette. Let me just remind you guys real quick how beautiful this is right here. If I could be an eyeshadow palette, like this would be me. So the first shade that I want to take, now that I'm looking at it, I think I want to take Blazing, the really bright 
orange one down here, the matte one. So I'm going to take some of that on the Zoeva 221 Luxe Soft Crease Brush and go ahead and apply that to my crease and really blow it out. And what I mean when I say I'm going to blow it out is that I'm just really blending it out further than I normally would with an eyeshadow just because I am planning to cut the crease with this look so I want it to be quite noticeable and to do that I feel like I need to bring the eyeshadow in the crease out further than I normally would just so it kind of gives that nice cut effect you guys will see what I mean when I show you later on but as you can see I'm just blending applying and blending till I get the desired pigmentation that I want as you can see I'm also really dragging this color all the way throughout the crease so I am bringing it quite far into the inner corner of my eye all the way to the outer corner and really blowing it out throughout the process. All right, so this is how the initial transitional crease shade is looking. I'm probably gonna end up blending this top edge a little more later on once I get an idea of how everything looks together. But next up, I'm going to go into this shade right here next to it called Saffron. As you can see, it's like a really, how would I describe it? It looks very cranberry on camera, but I feel like it's a little darker in person. So I'm going to go in with that shade. I'm just using the Zoeva 228 Luxe Crease Brush. Essentially, I'm applying this throughout the crease as well, pretty much in the same motion that I just did with that blazing shade, but I'm not going to bring it out as far as I did. So doing this really helps to define the crease and give it a little more dimension whilst adding depth and color to it as well. So I've got that red shade down in the crease. Now what I'm gonna do is go back in with the first brush that I used to apply blazing. And if you ever feel like you've lost some of that initial color you applied, don't be scared to go back in and apply some more or even just take whatever is left on the brush and kind of work at the top edge to blend everything together nicely, if that makes sense. I feel like you can kind of watch what I do and get more of an understanding of what I'm trying to explain. But I guess what I'm trying to say is I just don't want any of that orange shade to get lost in translation. So I kind of want to make sure that it stays up top and make sure that everything is, of course, blended together nicely. But now that we've got that crease work done, what I'm going to do is take this brush right here. This is the Sigma F70 concealer brush and I've got my concealer. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the crease. So the way I like to do this is take the concealer, take your brush, get it all nice and coated, and then we're gonna take that and just, boom. If you're not sure how to do this, you just wanna like slowly work up to the crease. Don't go in like balls to the wall and just try and like cut it out straight away. Ease into it, you know? So what I like to do is just apply some right near my lash line, and then I'll like look up and as you can see, it's already created that guide for you. And you kind of just like go off that. See what I mean? Every time I look up, it gives you that little bit of a guide to follow. And I'm telling you guys, once I figured out how to do this, I was like, wow, cut creases aren't that hard at all. So you just want to like take your time with it. Don't go crazy. Just like slowly work at it. Patience is key. And yeah, you just want to slowly cut the crease. And since I only wanna cut like half of it, I'm not gonna go do a full on cut crease. I'm just letting it like taper off like that and then I'll just take my finger and um, blend at this edge just so that when we go ahead and apply any other color to the outer corner of our eyes, it doesn't look too crazy and um, too harsh of a line. And then of course, we're just gonna go ahead and do the other eye now. The, the part that I find the most difficult See, I just looked up and it made the template for me. Um, but the part that I find the most difficult is getting them to look the same. And because I have two different eye shapes, I feel like one of my eyes is more round than the other, the other one's more almond. I put it down to the fact that like, you know, I'm a halfie, so I've got like so many mixed features on me. But sometimes it's hard to like make things look symmetrical and you kind of just have to go with the flow of it. So just do your best. Alrighty, so I'm not gonna look up because I don't want to wreck what I've just done, but now that all of that concealer is on the crease and nice and cut, I feel rude that I'm not looking at you guys right now, but it's because I don't want to go in this. Um, <laughs> but I'm going to go back into this palette and I'm taking this shade right here, the really glittery shimmery gold shade. Pretty sure this is pronounced as Nefertiti. Nefertiti? I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. I suck at pronouncing things. But I'm just taking some of that on the Zoeva Luxe Classic Shader Brush, and I'm going to spray it 
with some of this. This is just the Marvin SQ Facial Spray. You can use Fix Plus or whatever just to get the brush a little wet. And I'm going to pretty much fill in all of that concealer, like all of the area that I had concealed with this shadow right here. So I'm just going in with light padding motions just to get the full opacity of this eyeshadow onto the lid. It's almost like coloring, like you just have to stay in between the lines. Okay, that looks really pretty. I actually really like how that color turned out. So everything is all good to go with that. Now next up, I'm going to be going into... Where is she? There she is. Okay, I'm gonna be taking the shade up top here called Amber. And I'm just using the Zoeva 227 Luxe Soft Definer. I'm gonna take some of that and start to blend that on the outer edge of the eye, blending it into that lid shade as well. Think of this as like a lid transition, if that makes sense. Just so that there's no harsh line when you go ahead and apply the very outer corner color, it kind of just gradually fades off into the darkness. You guys will see what I mean when I show you in just a sec. But yeah, I'm just blending this onto the outer corner and dragging it inwards towards the middle of the lid. So now for the very outer corner of my eyes, I'm gonna be taking the matte brown shade from the palette. This is called Oud. And I'm just using the Zoeva 231 Luxe Petite Crease Brush. I'm just gonna go ahead and, as I said, apply that to the very outer corner of my eyes blending it in towards that amber shade that I just applied. So as you can see, I'm really just following the natural shape of my eye and the eye socket, if that makes sense. And as you can see, doing this really does help to define the eye and it just makes the cut crease pop a little more. All right, so at this point, I'm just going back in and lightly, ever so lightly blending at that edge with the same brush that I used to apply that red saffron shade. I still want it to be defined, but I don't want it to look like I didn't blend properly. So that's why I really take my time with like blending the edges, making sure that everything is seamless, pretty much. All right, at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and mimic what I've done in the crease down on the bottom lash line. So I'm firstly going into the shade Blazing. I just hit my head. <laughs> but I'm gonna go back into that shade Blazing. And I'm just using a Sigma E55 eyeshading brush. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this along my bottom lash line and somewhat connect it up to what we've got going on on the outer corner of the eye. And I'm slightly going to smoke it out a little because there's so much going on on the lid. You don't want it to look too top heavy in a sense. So I am going to be smoking it out along there as well. And you guys already know that I'm gonna go back into that saffron shade as well and I'm going along my bottom lash line with it once again. So I'm just using another Sigma E55 eyeshading brush and I'm going to go ahead and apply that just the same as I did with that blazing shade, but I'm not blowing it out as far. And I like to do this to kind of just emulate what is going on on the lid as well, just so that everything is tied together nicely and all somewhat symmetrical in a sense. So that's looking all good so far, but I also want to go back in with the Oud shade, the dark matte brown of the palette. And I'm just using the Zoeva E30 pencil brush. I'm gonna take that shade on there just to kind of drag down the color and match it up with the outer corner of the eyes. And I'm only going to be bringing it in on the outer third of the bottom lash line. I'm not gonna do any winged liner today just because I feel like the look doesn't really need it because it's super intense as it is. So I'm gonna go in with mascara. This is just a little sample size of the Stila Extreme Lash Mascara. So I'm just taking a heavier coat to the bottom lashes and a little lighter on the top because I will be going in with falsies. So I'm going in with these bad boys today. These are the House of Lashes falsies in the style Siren. They're super wispy and full, but they're not huge, if that makes sense. Like they don't take over the entire eye, which is exactly why I've decided to go with these lashes today. When you've done so much work on the lids, you don't want to put on a lash that is going to completely distract away from that and cover everything up. You want a lash that is going to enhance what you've done on the lids. And that's exactly what these lashes are. Before I forget, I better add something to the inner corner of my eyes because I always forget to do that. So today I'm just gonna go in with my highlighter. I typically like to use my highlighter just so everything's like matchy matchy. You guys know how I am. But I'm using this brush right here. This is the Zoeva 238 Luxe Precise Shader. I'm just gonna go ahead and take a little bit of my highlighter. This is the Laura Geller Gilded Honey highlighter. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply that to the inner corner of my eyes and also some to my brow bone. So now that the eyes are done, it's time to finish off the rest of the face. I am going to go in with this. This is the Revlon Sculpt and Highlight Contour Kit. And I want to take this shade. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, I want to take this shade right here. So I'm going to go ahead and use that shade to contour my face. I'm using the Models Prefer Contouring Brush. I'm just going to go ahead and carve out those non-existent cheekbones and also contour my nose with this as well as my jaw, just a little. Then of course for bronze, I'm going in with the Physicians Formula. That's really difficult to say. Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. <laughs> It smells so good. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and bronze up my face with this, just running this over my cheeks, around my hairline, you know, give myself that nice sun-kissed glow without going out in the sun. Next up for blush, I'm using this one. This is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in Rosé Champagne. As you can see, it's just like a really, how would I describe this? It's like peachy. I don't know, a peachy color with like gold shimmer throughout it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that to the apples of my cheeks, kind of pulling it backwards towards my hairline. I'm using the Sigma F40 Large Angled Contour Brush to do so. Next up, my fave part, highlighter. You guys already know, this is the Laura Geller Gilded Honey Highlighter. Let me just give you guys a quick swatch, like, I don't even have to say anything. Like, I don't have to say anything. So pretty. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that to all the usual areas that I like to highlight. As always, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills A23 highlighter brush. I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips now. So I'm using the Chi Chi Stay On Lip Liner in the shade Spiked. I'm pretty much just going to follow the natural outline of my lips and slightly fill them in a little. So for my actual lip color, I'm going in with one of the Kat Von D liquid lipsticks in the shade Bow and Arrow. I would describe this color as like a brownish muted nude. Now I could totally leave the lips like that, but you guys know. Did you guys hear that? The birds are getting wild out here. Anyways, as I was saying, I could just leave the lips like that, but I wanna go over the top with the gloss because you guys know me, I do love to have glossy lips. So I have here, this is like my all time favorite lip gloss, NYX Butter Gloss, them damn birds. Can you hear it? I hope you guys can hear it, otherwise it sounds like I'm just going crazy right now. But this right here is my favorite lip gloss of all time, the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Madeline. It does have a little bit of color and pigment to it, but nothing too crazy. I'm just gonna quickly hit my face with some of the Maribadescu Facial Spray. And then that, my friends, is the whole makeup look done. So there we have it, you guys. This is the completed makeup look. Let me know what you think of it in the comments down below. And if you did enjoy this video or you found it helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're still here at the end watching and you're not yet subscribed, you know what to do down below. Hit the little red subscribe button so you don't miss any more videos that I post. As always, I will leave a full list of everything I used in the video down in the description box below where you can also find all the links to my social media accounts. So if you guys want to keep up with me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, down below is where you can find all the good stuff. Anyways, I hope you guys are having a fabulous week. I will talk to you all in the comments and I will see you all in my next video. Oh, 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 oh,